Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Sunday. It is March 7th, and we celebrate the third Sunday in or of <laughs> the third Sunday of Lent. Not ordinary time. Friends, let us begin our our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. <clears throat> Lord, who throughout these forty days for us did fast and pray, teach us with you to mourn our sins and close by you to stay. As you with Satan did contend and did the victory win, O oh, give us strength in you to fight, in you to conquer sin. As you did hunger and did thirst, O oh, teach us, gracious Lord, to die to self and so to live by your most holy word. Abide with us that through this life of suffering and pain, an Easter of unending joy we may at last attain. Your decrees, O Lord, are to be trusted. Your truth is more powerful than the roaring of the seas. The Lord is King, with majesty enrobed. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. The world you made firm, not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from of old. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. The waters have lifted up, O Lord. The waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their thunder. Greater than the roar of mighty waters, more glorious than the surging of the sea, the Lord is glorious on high. Truly, your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is, fit, is fitting for your, to your house, O Lord, until the end of time. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All power and all authority in heaven and on earth have been given to you, Lord Jesus. You rule with decrees that are firm and trustworthy. Be with us always, so that we may make disciples whose holiness will be worthy of your house. Your decrees, O Lord, are to be trusted. Your truth is more powerful than the roaring of the seas. Springs of water bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. 
All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Springs of water, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. All kings and peoples of the earth, Give praise to God. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, shining stars. Praise him, highest heavens and the waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. He commanded they were made. He fixed them forever, gave a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth sea creatures and all oceans, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy winds that obey his word, all mountains and hills, all fruit trees and cedars, beasts wild and tame, reptiles and birds on the wing, all earth's kings and peoples, earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, old men together with children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. The splendor of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. He exalts the strength of his people. He is the praise of all his saints, the sons of Israel, of the people whom he comes close. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, extolled in the heights by angelic powers, you are also praised by all earth's creatures, each in its own turn, each, each in its own way. With all, such with all the splendor of heavenly worship, you still delight in such tokens of love as earth can offer. May heaven and earth together acclaim you as king. May the praise that is sung in heaven resound in the heart of every creature on earth. All kings and peoples of the earth, give praise to God. A reading from the book of the prophet Nehemiah. Today is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad and do not weep, for today is holy to our Lord. Do not be saddened this day, for rejoicing in the Lord must be your strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks Excuse me, thanks be to God. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. You were wounded for our offenses. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Destroy this temple, says the Lord, and in three days I will rebuild it. He was speaking of the temple of his body. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Destroy this temple, says the Lord, and in three days, <clears throat> and in three days I will rebuild it. He was speaking of the temple of his body. Let us praise our loving Redeemer who gained for us this season of grace, and pray to him, saying, Lord, create a new spirit in us. Christ, our life, through baptism we were buried with you and rose to life with you. May we walk today in newness of life. Lord, create a new spirit in us. Lord, you have brought blessings to all mankind. Bring us to share your concern for the good of all. Lord, create a new spirit in us. May we work together to build up the earthly city with our eyes fixed on the city that lasts forever. Lord, create a new spirit in us. Healer of body and soul, cure the sickness of our spirit so that we may grow in holiness through your constant care. Lord, create a new spirit in us. Gathering these prayers, calling to mind all of the prayers that we have in our hearts, remembering all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for. We lift up our voices and use those sacred words that Jesus himself taught to us as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you have taught us to overcome our sins by prayer, fasting, and works of mercy. <clears throat> when we are discouraged by our weakness, Give us confidence in your love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours this morning. As we celebrate this uh, third Sunday of Lent, um, we should also be reminded that uh, March 7th uh, would be the feast day of Saints uh, Perpetua and Felicity. So if you know any Felicities out there, uh, remember to wish them a happy feast day today. Friends, whether you are out and about, uh, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today. But above all, remember to be holy today, to live out that beautiful baptismal call, to live the actual life of Christ here on earth. And so, to live that life of holiness. Friends, may God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. 
and I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.